Welcome again, everybody. If you're listening to me, you're on the English uh, page. If you're listening to the Chinese version, then you're on the Chinese uh, page, which is at YouTube. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. Um, I did a little bit of introduction about LifeWire and Malaysian Worship Collective just now, but I think I'm just going to jump straight to uh, what I wanted to share tonight, which is uh, the most important topic um, that's really, really close to my heart. All right. So um, tonight we're talking about bringing um, the church to the audio online world. So I believe uh, many of us have this thing called a handphone, right? So besides social media, Facebook or whatever, then uh, one of the apps that I have on, on, my, on my phone is Spotify. Okay? Spotify is where I listen to music, um, I listen to podcasts. I also use other, other apps like uh, YouTube Music as well. So um, one of the things that I really enjoy every morning is I, I like to listen to a short podcast before I start my day, you know, something to just um, uh, feed my, my mind, you know, knowledge and stuff like that. So whenever I go to the podcast app, um, I always notice that there is a lot of new content, okay? But all this new content over the last one year especially has become very, very terrifying, you know? It used to be very inspirational, motivational, self-help, and then once in a while I see one or two sermons, but now... It's just filled with a lot of religious context. And, and for this religious content, right, it's really sad that um, Christian content among all this content is so little, you know. I need to scroll, like, scroll and scroll and scroll and, and before I come to the first Christian content. So I always thought that, hey, if um, all the religion in the world are sharing their podcast, their music, you know, their, their content online, then where is, where is our church? Why is our church not right there with them? Why are we not sharing? Don't we have any content at all? You know? And then I start to think about uh, stuff, for example, like with this CMO, and then we have uh, pastors calling in, worship team calling in. And I realized churches in Malaysia or churches in general actually produces content week in and week out. Worship team actually, you know, produces music and then they record it for their worship set, you know, every week, and the pastors record the sermon, they, week in, week out, every Sunday, there's new content. So, compared to any other religion in the world, I believe that the church is the highest content producer. Because, come on, we have service every week. Some have two service. Some record their prayer meetings. So, we have so much content, then why, why is it, why are we keeping it within church walls? You know, and I feel that I want to one day go go through um, audio platforms and see Christian content then right next to the rest of the religion content that we see. Um, so this has been a burden in my heart. I've been creating content on my own to just put things you know, on this platform. And then when I got to speak to um, Larry today, um, you know, I just, I spoke to Larry. Actually, I know Larry for the longest time. Okay? I know him as the book distributor because you know, I write books, right? So he distributes books, right? And then, and then recently, he, he told me that he distributes audio and I'm like, why you didn't tell me? I have so many things I want to do. And I realized that the church should be also looking into putting their content online and therefore I said, okay, uh, the last session to wrap up this series, um, I should get Larry you know, on to talk about how we can do this, you know, how the churches need to be able to put their content online so that we can also be a light at that place for God. So yeah, Larry, hello again. Hi, um, Gina. Sorry for the technical technical setup. So we need to say hello two, three times. Yeah. Um, Thanks for having me tonight. So, yes, we are excited. Or oh, I am excited. I hope they are still excited after half an hour. So I'm just going to leave it all to you so that you can share. And uh, you know, they've been waiting so long. So yeah, it's all yours. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, let me try to share my screen. Right. Yep. Nice. Okay, thank you everybody for taking the time off and even despite the delay. Uh, some people say um, money loss can make back, but time loss cannot be made. So I hope that tonight's session will be beneficial and of value to you and your church and where, where, wherever you're serving in the community. And I hope to bring that community to the entire world for you tonight. So um, let me... First start by saying what this session is not about. It's not about uh, permission, licensing to cover songs, um, copywriting or publishing, which you can actually hear from the first two sessions of uh, LiveWire, which uh, LiveWire has done a great job in bringing um, somebody, a lawyer and as well as somebody from CCLI to cover that. 
So I will not be covering that. Uh, this session is not about songwriting or even music production per se. Uh, it's also not about how to upload podcasts because actually uh, uploading podcasts is actually pretty easy and it's a freeware which is available uh, all, all over. You can, you can do that. Um, what I will be sharing is actually about uh, using commercial platforms to upload into all the mainstream um, streaming, audio streaming uh, sites and platforms. And by doing so, you actually get to monetize them. Um, and what this session is not about is to how to boost viewership or increase hits. So that's a, that's a domain of uh, digital marketing, uh, another topic altogether. Okay, so this session is really about putting original and finished content, um, so, uh, example songs, message, uh, teachings on commercial digital audio platforms in 240 countries simultaneously. I hope you can see on my screen, you know, on the left, um, yeah, these are some of the main dig uh, digital streaming sites that we put up to. Um, and it's also increasing every day. Um, just last week, we got word that we are putting up content on uh, a famous uh, Vietnamese <laughs> site. And of course, the very famous uh, TikTok, which is uh, ruling the world now. So yeah, so some of your uh, songs, even sermons actually goes into TikTok. So all ha somebody has to do is uh, pick up search for your song and then do some uh, interesting stuff to it uh, within one minute. Hey, okay. can you like lift up your mic a little bit so that they can hear you louder? Oh, my mic. Okay. Uh, yeah, is cool. it better? Can you hear me better now? Definitely. Okay. I can hear you better. All right. Okay. Thank you. So I'll just hold this like that. Okay. So, but uh, before I start, we also want to talk about actually why do we do what we do? And I think um, this uh, verse has become even more uh, prominent to me, even during this MCO. And it's about, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. You know, during this MCO, you know, uh, a lot of people were worried, you know, is this the end of the world and yadida, yadida. But actually, if we um, look at this verse literally, um, there is so much more to do. And where are we as a church today? You know, I got this uh, site with York and Google, Joshua Project. Um, we can see, right, that more than 50% of the world, right, or nations, right, um, actually they, they, they define them into actually language groups. Um, more than 50% are unrich or barely rich with the gospel or content, you know, as we know it. So how, how to have the end to come? It's, uh, we still got quite a fairly big, uh, a long way to do. And that's why, right, um, I really believe this MCO, it's a, it's a time to pause for us to re re strategize as a church. Um, and it very, it's very interesting, right, the, the amount of content that's pumping out uh, through digitally, digitally during MCO, right, has uh, accelerated. Perhaps this is probably one of the reasons why um, we have this uh, season, so that we can actually accelerate and use whatever resources we have to really reach um, reach the world with the gospel. You know, interesting, just now, Gina, you mentioned uh, earlier about um, there's not enough Christian content. And uh, five years ago, when I started doing this, it was actually a very famous um, top music uh, streaming executive was, who actually suggested to me, he said, hey, you're a church, huh? and he's actually not a believer. He said, your church got uh, a lot of content. No? I said, what do you mean? You see, in, in, in the uh, streaming world, right, they want to put up as many content as possible. And um, actually, artists, right, if they're lucky, they'll have an album uh, once a year or maybe an, yeah. a, an album uh, once every two years. But your church, right, every week, you all got content, way. Right? I'm like thinking, wow, yeah. Huh? And guess what? The content is already available there. There's no need to reproduce or whatever. All you just have to do is just upload them. You know, you can upload them to podcasts. You can upload them to, to it through, through, through the kind of uh, curators that we, we provide. Or you can upload to any paid services. You just have to upload them. But why aren't we doing that? So, um, which is why we're here. Lah. So, there are actually a few distrib distribution models or channels that a church or even an artist or uh, somebody like you, Gina, who has uh, uh, storybooks uh, in, in, in Bahasa that you can do. First one is, of course, free R. Uh, we all Malaysians love free stuff, uh, which is yeah, good. Yeah, of course. Um, try, try first, free 
So free, so there is a, by free means uh, there is no fee upfront. So some providers that actually have a upfront fee and annual fee, lah, okay? So, so, so free means usually don't have, but some uh, providers still require some upfront fee. And then by free means you can't get to monetize as a content owner. So these are, for example, podcast um, and also YouTube. YouTube, you get to monetize unless you uh, you qualify to be their uh, partner partner program. Um, the coverage is, uh, you know, it's single. So you put on a podcast, it's on a certain podcast. It's a app, it be iTunes podcast or Spotify podcast. We are limited to that one platform um, or YouTube to YouTube alone. Or Facebook for the matter. Uh, marketing support, well, minimal. Uh, you also don't know who to ask you, 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 if you sometimes upload some content and you get some trouble. Uh, analytics, very basic. Uh, customer service, you know, um, very uh, very distant because uh, these providers are all overseas. well paid content, there are quite a few. Um, it depends. Uh, there are fees. Some charge upfront fees. Some charge annual fees. Some charge both. Uh, the, but the good, the good thing is that they help you to monetize. Uh, and pay pay you accordingly. Um, their coverage is in multi platforms, you know. So once you upload into this um, ser paid service provider, it goes into it goes into um, Spotify. Usually Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, um, uh, all the major ones are uh, they, they do that. Um, marketing support, you know, they they you can go to their sites. They will tell you best practices on how to do this, how to do a good audio, how to even engage with your uh, fans. Um, analytics, yes, they provide analytics. Um, customer service is overseas. So my model is actually now everyone can. Now everyone, bole. Anybody <laughs> can upload content because of Matthew 2414. I want to make it available for people to upload for free. Um, there is no upfront fees. Uh, and we work on a profit sharing uh, basis. You take actually most of the majority and I just take a portion of it to cover some of our cost which is actually not a lot um, coverage um, actually I would like to think that we are we, we are even more more we have uh, multi sites multi platforms uh, compared to many other paid providers uh, for example a lot of uh, providers uh, do not cover some of the China sites uh, some of the uh, uh, QQ music and QQ music it's actually a big player and they your, your content right actually for those of you who are in the YouTube uh, listening to the Chinese section I give you a tip uh, a tip you go to WeChat you switch to Chinese uh, which I, I I don't really know I'm banana um, you can search for all sorts of music for free Hill song is there you name it Planet Shakers the kind of stuff that we distribute is all there <laughs> and uh, we, uh, they, they, there's, there, there are ways to monetize uh, okay, and that's, uh, that's uh, the provider's uh, job to do that but you can get to search for a lot of stuff. And who says we can't reach content into the China? So we can. And so um, our platform allow that. And our platform actually allow you to put, um, after I'm going to show you all some live cases, uh, your name and title, both both in English and even in Mandarin, which uh, other paid platforms can't really do, lah, as, I, as, as far as I know, unless things have changed. And that's why a lot of wow. artists started coming to me. And very interestingly, when I, five years ago, when I started to tell church, that we can put up content. Uh, actually, honestly, there were not many good responses. Uh, I only have a few handful of churches. And funnily enough, I'm, I've been working with a lot of uh, Chinese mainstream labels. Uh, and we are hitting the charts left, right, and center. So, and God is, God is very funny. He's got a, because uh, five years ago, I said, I want to learn Mandarin. And this is what happens, you know. So, I suddenly have all these uh, 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 music artists, Chinese music artists that came to me because they say they, they went to some of these paid sites. They can't put... Uh, uh, title track in English and Mandarin because you know they also want to uh, engage with the uh, English speaking world but they can't so uh, so I get to get the best of the best and uh, there are some very good amazing um, mainstream Chinese artists in our midst and a lot of them are actually believers so really thank God for that um, wow marketing so so support inspiring to hear yeah so marketing support, well, you we 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 set out best practices, uh, tips and tools. Uh, I'll show them in subsequent slides afterwards. Um, analytics, I'll also show you a real case of analytics for those of you who love reports and then numbers like me. Uh, if you if you if you are already uploading stuff on YouTube, right? After I show you like, the kind of analytics that we have, it's it's crazy. And I, I always like to think that God also uh, crazy about this kind of thing. That's why he has an entire book in the Bible called the numbers. Customer service. 
So um, anything you know is is, is in, it, be, this this platform is actually in partnership with uh, Believe in France. But uh, anything right, you I'm I'm the go-to guy. We have somebody physical, you know, come around Yam Cha. We can talk about strategy and uh, you know some of the stuff that I've learned from even uh, artists, uh, people, uh, very very famous labels um, locally and overseas, and how to when to release uh, audio content, how to hit a charts. You know, there are actually some interesting formulas. Uh. Um, to do that so and we have multilingual support so our back end we have actually somebody who hire uh, somebody from mainland china to actually key in all these um, simplified chinese or traditional chinese into the uh, title so i'm going to show you some marketings okay so i'm going to for example we, we we have best practices for during this mco you know um so while you have content in spotify itunes um, apple music title you name it um, it is also good to use your social media to, as an artist or as a content creator to engage with your audiences. So how do you do that? Through YouTube live streams, how to use YouTube Premiere, best practices, there are tutorials in, uh, using Instagram Live, Facebook. And uh, also we, we, we have the latest uh, digital marketing update on uh, what is the trend. So MCO actually, we saw stre streaming actually uh, drop a bit simply because uh, research has found that people actually tend to listen to uh, Spotify, you know, when they are actually traveling. So during um, lockdown worldwide, so people don't really travel. And guess what? They switch to Netflix. Lah, huh? So uh, wow. music streaming has dropped a little bit. And then after coming into May, right, well, it went up again. So it's uh, very interesting. So we have also this kind of information that we, we share with artists. So it's up to you as an artist how to use those numbers and figures to position yourself um, strongly. Um, also, we have this interesting thing called Smart Link, which we are able to create links that help you to... Uh, let me show you an example. Uh, so for example, this is... Uh, oh. Hang on, where is my... Okay, so this is... Uh, this is a uh, uh, collective music, uh, one of their songs, latest release. And uh, you can see using this backlink, we generate a link for them. Um, you can, uh, they can actually put it up on their social media and everything. And then, you know, so because we put content all over uh, the mainstream sites, you know, you have Spotify, uh, Apple Music, um, this is iTunes, Deezer, Amazon Music, Amazon uh, Downloads, Shazam, YouTube. So these are the, the key main sites. So by clicking this, right, um, it brings them to their site. Uh, for example, like, let me click on this. So you bring them to uh, these. Uh, um, there you go. And then you people, if you have a, if you are a Deezer listener, which I doubt, you get to listen to this, you know. So this is like an aggregated backlink. So it's make it very easy because when, when you put content all over the place, right, how, how do you tell your fans or your audiences where to find you? So we make it very easy for them. Um, let me go to share about... Uh, so this is the best practices that we set out. So as I was sharing just now, the uh, you can see uh, during MCO, there was a dip uh, here, but overall, right, um, viewership this year is actually con uh, in higher than last year. Streaming, right, it's increasing year on year. It is uh, um, download has actually dropped drastically. It's uh, the damage of download has happened, um, but streaming, it's wow, it's increasing every year. So if you're an artist, if you are de developing content, right, it's you got to be putting your stuff on um, uh, digital streaming services sites. And uh, yeah, something like ours, um, which is uh, free, there's no upfront fees, or there are actually a lot of other channels that you can, can, can go to. These are best practice sites that we, we, we share as well. You know how to, so this is a YouTube playbook, um, how to set up super chats and stickers. Basically, these are all how to engage with your um, uh, audiences and even how to collaborate with artists, other artists to do content and then, yeah, get them out to your fan base so um oh yeah okay this is my second last slide uh i just want to show uh some reporting 
um, analytics as promised. If you're crazy about numbers like me, right? Uh, so this is a very famous local artist um, that I've got a privilege to work with, uh, with their label, Amrita Soon. So like, for example, um, and I've got a permission for, <laughs> from her producer uh, to, to share this. So this, uh, in the last uh, one year, the kind of audio streams that is generated, um, and you can see Spotify, right, is 90%. Um, second is uh, actually Apple Music. So by knowing all this, right, um, as an artist, you will know how to prioritize, what to do in Spotify. Um, for example, creating playlists, you know, to engage your cli uh, to your fans. Um, so you can see all the audio streaming. Um, and this is, uh, this is my favorite. To the ends of the earth, right? Um, every part of the world, right? Okay, now this is what you can see. People are tuning in. Uh, Malaysia, Taiwan, United States. Um, a lot of countries. I'm going to show you the another report which I actually give to labels or artists. And you can see the kind of, um, and in fact, actually I show you now better. Um, so this is a this is a music. I have taken out the uh, label and artist and the track, but you can see right. Uh, it's actually a worship worship song, uh, uh, that has gone to all over the place. You, talk, you name it: Qatar, Hungary, Germany, uh, Guatemala, Norway, wah, all over lah. Panama, Estonia, places that uh, some places I've never heard of, you know. Um, and this is a sermon. Uh, this is a, ch a church that has uh, several sermons. You can see, you know, they're in Colombo. Okay, I, I purposely highlight this. This is super cool. So uh, when you have a sermon, you upload, and then you play it on your Facebook or Instagram live, right? You get to actually monetize it. Haha. <laughs> so you get to monetize your own content. So over here, you can see, you know, um, Jukes is a uh, big uh, from Tencent, uh, pretty big, getting bigger in Malaysia. Um, so yeah, these are all the kind of numbers you can see. It's a uh, lot. So you can get to see oh. uh, when, where, uh, on what kind of platform, which country uh, stream used to be stream and download. So now actually it's all stream, 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 stream. And uh, quantity means how many times are. So like in Malaysia, um, during uh, this month, um, 701. Uh, streams, um, okay, like revenue I take out already, but uh, but honestly, revenue is not massive, massive uh, unless you are Beyonce or some of the big names. Um, it's it's this really is uh, this this really is actually about getting your 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 content out there, and then hopefully you get recognized. You know, I think the last session by CCLI, and then churches start to know, wow, this fellow wrote this song, and then um, CCI will want to put you there, and then you get to monetize also, like, People get your courts la, permission la, to to stream your thing, and you get you get paid by CCI also la, So another revenue stream, but uh, you got to start somewhere to allow um, your content to be recognized. Um, yeah, to create so, demand, yeah. right? So I think uh, that's about it on my side. I think it's uh, very interesting that you highlighted we have actually more streams than download now because uh, come on, our phone has not enough space to download the 500 songs that I like, so we just stream. Uh -huh. And streaming is uh, uh, some streaming are free, some are subscribed, of course, right? Yep. So, right, okay, I have this question. Uh, my, my friend produces songs, but then it doesn't go anywhere because she doesn't know what to do with it. She doesn't know how to do anything. So, as a layman person, I have a song. What do I do? What's the first step? Okay, so we only work with you at a finished product. That means you already have you have recorded yeah, everything. Yeah, already finished. Um, Correct. Oh, keep my email there here and come and we come and talk. Lor. But actually, honestly, you don't have to go through uh, even uh, the, the kind of service uh, sites that we provide. You know, there are a lot of content you can actually upload to YouTube, but you don't get to monetize. Lah. You can, uh, there are actually, uh, you actually should go and check out. Uh, there are a lot of uh, alternatives. Um, but I would like to think that, yeah, I'm somebody that, you know, we can go to, um, we can chit chat and then we can help you to do and upload the content. Um, it's actually, so what we'll do is actually we'll sign an agreement. Agreement basically okay. um, certify that you're actually a, the real content owner. So we don't ask your, you know, your permission. We don't even ask for your publishing. We will, we will have assumed that you've done all this kind of stuff. Um, but actually, a lot of artists don't really publish. Um, they, 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 they reckon, right, by uploading, it's already a watermark. Um, 
know that this content belongs to you. And actually, oh, when all okay. when we upload the the so after the agreement, so also give us the right to help you distribute because otherwise we are pirates. You know, we 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 we, we could have stole the content somewhere and simply so we cannot simply upload stuff. Uh, and then when we upload, we uh, to all the our partnering sites, they actually will check. So they will actually check this content whether there's explicit content, um, is uh, is about racism or discrimination or anything like that. If there are all this kind of content, they will actually don't they will even buy you from uh, putting up as we know how smart the bots are or algorithms are these days. So they'll put them yep. up. And then um, so usually if that everything goes well, we we'll say five to seven working days, um, then it will go live in all the sites. So so hence brings me to the next thing is if you have got sermon and you really die die, you know, like um pastor preach on Sunday and then um you want to get it up like really fast, right? So podcast is actually the way to go like, because podcast actually goes live for you. And by all means, uh, I mean I could I don't get to serve you because um podcast is actually a different different um it's a different platform altogether, a different uh, way of uh, uh, distributing all together we don't get to serve you but that's fine uh, we just need to get the content out good content out uh, in as many places as possible somebody could be typing a search in spotify and say i want to die i want i want to commit suicide and something uh, something about the keywords you know in, in your content right might actually pop up in a playlist and who knows we could be saving lives and actually helping people out there wow so yeah it works that way i mean just one or two words in the in your con- can actually be you know you, search you, you, uh, accordingly. Those of you have Spotify, you know, right? They 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 push. Uh, they, 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 the the boss has got a very smart way of uh, putting content to you, like uh, you know, like, uh, the weekly discovery. You know, they put uh, the right songs to me. So I think if you listen to the even the podcast often enough, right? They have this algorithm that um can push content to you. And Google is also very aware whatever you are doing, especially on your desktop. You know, uh, Wow, it's amazing the kind of so the kind of stuff that you're searching for it will be the kind of stuff that you will get and which is good. Cool. So we have a question that comes in. Um is it actually says, is there some kind of criteria to consider before uploading? And I think maybe this criteria is not so much based on what you just say, the whole your know, censorship or whatever. Maybe is there an audio quality kind of um, criteria? Uh, it's okay. So the good thing is our size. Is okay, uh, basically CD quality, forty-four point one kilohertz, um, sixteen bit, uh, will be good enough. Uh, in terms of musical quality, you know, um, we are not there to judge creatively. So as long as you got content, up it goes. We won't say whether it's good or bad. Just pull up, put there. You never know how it's gonna uh, impact somebody. And one of the cool things is that um. Outside, Even though we don't uh, upload to YouTube, quality, but um, YouTube will actually pull some of the content over. Uh, and actually, okay, so the last few days you're talking about, you know, your, your people, uh, uh, church upload stuff and then couldn't stream, cannot flag, right? So what happened is that, so when right. you, so YouTube has got this, they call it the digital signature, digital audio signature. So when you have a song upload through our platform, YouTube will pick it up and YouTube will actually put it as well, uh, played, uh, it will create a special uh, link and feature your song as well. Okay, now the thing is that, just say somebody, so I've got an artist a few, day, few years ago, received an email from YouTube saying, um, do you want to buy this content? So what happened is, uh, an, a property agent took hold of this worship song and actually used it to show the property gallery. <laughs> it's like uh, to feature the property, the apartment, how beautiful it is using my artist song. So this guy is probably a, your fan. Uh, I say you must be so famous that a property agent use your song, you know, and you get to monetize anyway. So pump, and that's when you know when you start to upload, you start to say you cannot monetize or whatever, and that's because uh, somebody else else is monetizing monetizing them. So we are actually helping this artist monetize um, his content on YouTube. So yeah, oh, so it right actually now. can detect la, so they can yeah, detect the audio content. A, as what they call well. a YouTube YouTube audio signature, super smart. Hey, we have some audience in Semangat, Google. It's this bit that Larry talked 
Uh, so now one of the questions is, belief is based on, so is Larry the local representative? Yeah, I think uh, belief works with a few different um, uh, representatives. So, um, so we, we, we actually, through my company, Inside Unlimited, uh, which is a partnership with Indonesia, um, so we get to uh, upload heaps of content through Belief over the years. So actually, um, they, they once told us that we are one of the largest uh, uh, Christian, Christian content uh, distributor. So yeah, wow. but, uh, but Belief, anybody, so, but I know Belief won't work anybody, you need to have substantial library. So like, for example, Live where you can do that as well. So if you have like, you tell them, you know, we got like heaps of uh, content and we want to be a distributor ourselves. Yeah, I'll be happy to introduce to you because anyway, this is actually, I see this as more of a ministry than anything. So you can actually become a distributor, but they, 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 for them to work with you, right, you need to have substantial uh, collection of uh, repertoire like a of content. pool of resource, la. always have a pool content, of, content, must a, be a, big of pool content. a big pool yeah. of content. La. So, so yeah. when, we, when we started out in the early days, we used to be a iTunes digital distributor. So iTunes will require you to have so much of uh, content. And then we did for um, Spotify individually. So, uh, so imagine I get a CD, I have to read them into my uh, PC and then we right. upload to iTunes. Um, this was before the days of Apple Music. Then Spotify, all individually, it's like, wow, hard work, no? But now, through Belief, right, we actually um, upload it, pump, and off it goes. Uh, to all the so it's all automated. Uh, so it just goes everywhere yeah. with just one or two buttons and then you get report um, all copy, right? Yeah, or you, you can actually, uh, you also can choose, you don't want to be in this... Um, uh, platform or you want to be in certain platform first you know there are some artists they are very smart they want to hit the iTunes charts so they release their songs on iTunes first and then um, one week later in Spotify those were the days uh, but then Spotify actually uh, will not be too happy with that and they so you yeah you, they, 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 yeah, they will go in such a way that you won't be featured uh, in certain things um, and then uh, yeah so so and then you, you get to hit the charts oh on iTunes, um, yeah. Okay, so another question. Uh, Belief has a very specific touch with con creators. So they help in terms of marketing, getting the songs. Like, um, is there a marketing? It's just upload, that's it. There's no marketing, there's yeah. no. Yes, it's, it's like, you know, you, you, you put your, you, you, you put your stuff in, a, a, I was going to say, a, yeah, you put your stuff in uh, Lazada to sell, right? Um, Lazada, unless you are one of those really big guys, Lazada won't help you market your stuff. Like you still, as a seller, have to, um, you still have to market it yourself, you know, it through other avenues. So, they, it, you know, the amount of content that is uh, uploaded into all these platforms, like so many every day, how are they going to help you? But what they can do is, but this is more for mainstream artists. What we have done is uh, with mainstream artists, you know, sometimes when you look, go to iTunes, you know those banners? Even Spotify has it on the desktop. So yep. you write Cherita yep. or, you know, Gina, it's a what meaning artist, yada, 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 have, blah, blah. So then they will actually prioritize to to, 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 to put your, your your banner up there. But it depends on who is releasing. So if uh, you, you have Adele, you have all the ma major artists releasing on that, that the same time, you sorry, la, you don't get it, you know. Um, okay. But otherwise, you get it into the banner. Or what they can do is they actually feature you in, actually, let me show this. They shoot, uh, we, we talking on Spotify because being the number one player, if you know, have these are uh, New Music Fridays. Um, they have a few, um, I, you can see, right, my screen? Yeah, remember to uh, put mic up a little. Okay, you can see uh, Chinese Indie Pick, you know, so some of my artists are featured here. Uh, made in Malaysia. So I don't have time today to talk about uh, playlisting but playlist right is one of the greatest way to create uh, to promote yourself uh, by creating playlists and this is something that I really encourage people and something I also created um, recently to during MCO to uh, help my artists uh, generate so if you have Spotify you can actually follow Malaysia release Veda these are some of the artists that I work with um, over the years and I feature them and we, we I, I try to uh, do swap playlists with other uh providers in other countries now you know so 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 that way my artists get featured in like taiwan and all those kind of things and yeah vice versa 
So for Kelly, this question, yeah. quite interesting. You say you keep saying your artist, your artist, um, these are artists that signed by you lah, listed by no, you lah. So, la. so I work with the labels. Some of them are indie artists. So I don't, I don't finance their production recording. So actually, my artist means I help them distribute lah. I'm like their go-to guy to help them put in all oh, these. Um, okay. Different, yeah. So uh, we have people saying, "Hey, please lah, this is what we want to hear." And everyone wants a little bit more lah. Sorry, say, say that again. <laughs> yeah, interested to hear about your piece. Hear and about tell us the, latest, the playlist, the playlist, create playlist, okay. and all. So one of the reason I believe um uh Spotify has 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 got a dominant uh position. You know, I, I you know when music digital music first started, iTunes was so big. You know, yep. and then came yep. Spotify, yep. and one of the reason I believe right uh through even engaging with some of the labels and uh st- streaming site is that Spotify has got this shareable um, this social element to it you know you can have all your f- you, I can like if I follow Gina I can know what she's listening to I mean provided she provide uh, uh, the, through the friends activity which I have to turn off um, and the, this whole thing called playlist playlist actually allow you to create uh, your songs and then all the other artist songs. So actually, if you notice, a lot of famous artists, right, has got their own playlist on, you know, and they share their playlist. Um, and then imagine, right? Okay, many years ago, I know an Indonesian artist. He became really famous. And I, I, I found out right, what he actually did was that they came out with a compilation album. He put his song right after How Great Is Our God, Chris Tomlin. Okay. Okay. So Christo- so those days, right, everybody is like looking for how great is our God, right? So guess what? When you, you you listen to Chris Tomlin's How Great Is Our God, and then pump the next song is your song. Wow, suddenly, wow, who is this? Huh? Gina, like wow, hey, not bad, right? So suddenly you become famous. Huh? So playlists allow you to do that. So today, right, it is very easy to create, not just cre- not just create music, but to market as well. So I mean you can create a playlist, you put your song next to how uh okay, what uh now the uh the blessing, for example, which everybody's listening to, um, guess what? <laughs> you you might get, uh, you know, your song might be listener. So what you can do is just say, for example, if you know, oh, just say Juvita, famous, and she, she, I think she has a playlist. So you say, hey, Juvita, can you like feature my song in your playlist, or not? You know, and then Juvita, wow, can Juvita can be famous, ah? So something like that, lah. You know. So I know of some artists who are really unknown, right? And they just get their song. Uh, feature in some playlist by some very um, celebrity or influencers. Whoa. Suddenly, Whoa. You can... it's very good. I got a comment here. Wow, that's about it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they say it's a good tip. Take us about it. Oh, this one come musician lah. <laughs> yeah, lor. So, so um, I mean, that's we, a very idea actually. We we know of so many. I mean, a lot of people. I'm, I mean, the world is so small now. You guys. Uh, a lot of churches, a lot of people have invited overseas artists over the years, right? So you know them, ask them to feature your song in your playlist. And that's how we can get, uh, I mean, I really believe in our local Malaysian content. And I really believe this, if anything that we have, we need to learn during this season is we need to do really Buatan Malaysia. And it's actually creating our local content and get it out there, you know. And also, if you have your local content, guess what? You put up stuff on YouTube, it will not be flagged because... You have to get permission for yourself lah to put it up. <laughs> so, 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 so it's about time. Uh, if anything that we should learn over this season is that uh, develop our content. And I, 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 as a bonus, right? So, a couple of years ago, I mean, I, I do a lot of work with um collaboration with uh, the Indonesians, and I asked them, you know, you know, you know, the Indonesian worship has, wah, they are, they are, has been influential not just in Indonesia but um in our uh, uh, in, in our region. And uh, one of the things, right, the guy, one of the uh, famous worship leader told me is that, you know, it, it, that there was a point, time, right, that it came very expensive to even do covers and do stuff, worship songs, say, from US. So, and they started to write and write and write and write. They did. And it's been 10, 20 years. And now, guess what? You know, they, they are, wow. You know, during MCO, I've been like listening to, they do, you, you look at the kind of content that they put up with, um, during MC, wow, they, they, they bring churches and actually do uh, like YouTube channels, you know, concerts and all. So it's it's just amazing. And guess what? In Indonesia, my partner, we also have a just a bit of promo and shout out to my uh, guys in Inside Unlimited in Indonesia. We have our own streaming platform. It's called Revival. You can go and download in our Play Store. 
It's uh, you get a free trial. So you get to see, you get to hear sermons, you get to hear um, some of the best Indonesian music um, that's coming out. And so, so this, I, I reckon one day, you know, um, revival can be a, a force to reckon with in a streaming world as well. Wow. I think that, wow. Just mind blowing how, how things can work. I mean, it, all you have to do is just upload, you know, we don't even have to like think about 101 other things, right? Yeah, and we really have the content every week. Every week. And we have the Yeah, that's, that's why it's so amazing. Best, best content. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, for me, it's like if we already created the content and all you just need to upload and let it does this, you know, let, let, let God bring it to places that God wants it to bring. And I, I think that's something that all of us can just easily do. Amen. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, oh, Jurita is saying, yes, of course I have a Malaysian music playlist. <laughs> yeah, see, so, there you go. So all you guys out there tonight, just go and bug Juita, back her to put your songs in her playlist. Because uh, technically she's a kingmaker. Yeah, she has a lot of uh, songs with, under her belt already and she's like, you know, hitting the charts and stuff like that. All right. Um, I think there's no other questions, but I really, really enjoyed, you know, what you've shared. Is, is there any other tips that you can give us, you know, because uh, I'm not a musician, but I'm thinking that I, I'm, create, I'm going to create content. I don't have to be a musician to create content. No, you can be anything. I mean, if, if, if you are, if you are, I, I, I want to go as far as saying if you are a coach, uh, a life coach or whatever, you have content, you know, the kind of stuff that you teach people in workplace um, that could bless somebody, you can actually turn them into um, podcast or audio content and upload them and it doesn't have to come through us you can go there are so many channels just put them out there YouTube the algorithm is amazing you know who knows you know somebody will be blessed somebody will be touched somebody who is on the verge of uh, dying could hear your content and be blessed and um, you could save a life and this is how we um, really bring the gospel to every nation every part every language group that we can and there's so much more work to be done as I've shown you the statistics more than 50% so we have all the technology we have got all the content we have got all the resources and we still haven't reached more, more than 50% <laughs> so yala. wow thank you so much thank you so much Larry for sharing first thank like, you for uh, having me yes thank you so it's, it's been so in inspirational I mean I'm always just thinking of just putting in content because I'm just trying to meet a small need in my, you know, in, in the marketplace. I just wanted, you know, readers to be able to listen to short stories when they're traveling. But listening to Larry is like, wow, can you imagine if you upload your sermons, your your worship song? Or, I mean, it doesn't even have to be like a, a Christian smack on your face. It could just be something inspirational, something positive. And then, and that that's it. You just um, create the product and which most of us have already created, upload it and watch and just sit down and pray and see how God, you know, just use it to just touch life and transform life. And I, I think that that is something, uh, that's my biggest takeaway um, for tonight. Yeah. So um, thank you so much for being patient with us tonight. Um, that's all the time we have. Uh, before we go off, I would really want to just uh, say, um, you know, thank you for just staying tuned, whether it's tonight or the last four nights. And I hope that you've been blessed with tonight's sharing. Okay, um, or whether the sharing the last few nights. Okay, feel free to share this video with your friends, especially um, content creator, you know, pastors who have sermons, uh, musicians who have song, or you know, a writer like me who just wants to do audiobook. You know, share this video with them so that they know uh, where they can put their content and how far they can go to just be a like somewhere out there in the marketplace. All right. So besides sharing, um, if you are blessed, you can also consider giving us a. a a contribution to LifeWire Ministry. We are a ministry that's run on volunteer basis. Um, um, all of us volunteer from all over the country. So, for example, like tonight, tonight and the last four nights is amazing. I, I work with a very amazing team and we are all based all over the country. We are based in Penang, KL, PJ, Miri, Sabah. And uh, we remotely brought this thing together. So our broadcaster is all the way in, in Penang and PJ and our translator in Sabah, Sarawak. So I just want to thank you um, to this team who just made it possible. You know, if you really have enjoyed it, you know, give them a, some likes, you know, so that, you know, they know that, hey, you know, there's some, you know, some people out there think that we are, we are doing okay. We are doing a nice layout and stuff like that. Uh, so it's been quite, um, quite nice and enjoyable serving with them. Uh, I hope you have uh, benefited from the last four sessions. 
um, if you are interested to know more about this related stuff, for example, if you are interested to know more about media and uh, broadcasting and video video production, so stay tuned with LifeWire page or, and join their LifeWire group because uh, there's like 200, 300 um, media ministry people serving from all over the church and they are right in their group sharing resources, you know, sharing their tips on how to get things done a little bit better in church. So that would be very, very helpful if you're a media person. But if you're a musician or you're a vocalist or you're a worship leader, then head over to 440 Records and check out the Malaysian Worship Collective Initiative that they have. Um, basically, Malaysian Worship in, in uh, Collective Initiative um, brings up Malaysian worship songs, okay? So these are contents. These are really content. You, if you, you know, they introduce these songs to, um, to all of us in Malaysia so that we know our Malaysian um, Bush, uh, M- Malaysian songwriter as well but that aside they also introduce Malaysian songs in their song for example if you listen to a, a song like In Christ Alone um, they introduce a twist where we have Pape players we have Erhu players just you know giving us uh, a different flavor of our worship song so yeah those are our two partners who brought this talk together and I think um, that's it for now um, thank you for joining me my name is Gina Yap Layung and here's me signing out good night and God bless